All right, what is up, y'all? Welcome back. And today we will be talking about the SS Sniper Wolf and Jack films drama that's taken place over the past 24 hours or so. I'm pretty sure everyone here, for the most part, knows who SS Sniper Wolf is. I mean, I'll be honest, I maybe have seen a couple of her videos because I think she's hot. You know, that's just me keeping it a buck. You know, like, go ahead and bully me. I, I don't care. I just got to keep it 100 with you guys. But as far as Jack films, I'm actually not familiar with his content. But I most definitely side with him. So to catch y'all up on what's going on with the, the lore, so to speak. She just straight up docks this man and his wife. You know, revealed the location of their private home. Just because she was mad about some of the videos he's made criticizing her content. So I've seen some of the videos. You know, it'll be things like dudes jumping on trampolines and dunking a basketball. And she goes, wow, we're cool. And doesn't really provide any further insights or commentary. And that's exactly what Jack Films does in his videos. He basically calls her out for not providing any further discussion. And just kind of stealing people's content. You know, there's this whole argument and war with uh, what constitutes his fair use and whatnot. But uh, yeah, she went ahead and doxed to this man because of it. Let's go ahead and hop into that story. So an article I found on the topic says, YouTubers John Jacks Films and Aaliyah SS Sniper Wolf have found themselves at odds again following a recent dispute online. The controversy arose from an Instagram story that has since been removed in which Aaliyah shared a photo of Jack's film's residence. She posted these two now deleted stories. So I'll go ahead and throw the first story up on screen now. It's essentially just her cute little poll, you know, saying, should I go visit the home? He lives right down the road from me. And then the other story was actually a picture of this dude's home. So I'm obviously not going to put that up on screen for obvious reasons. So quite a bit to unpack here. You know, let's start at the beginning with this story where she says, should I go to Jack Films' home? She even goes on to say that she had no ill intentions with this visit. And I mean, let's kind of break this down for a second. So she's mad that he criticizes her content. And she even has considered it harassment, which later in the article it talks about that. So it just kind of begs the question, you know, why would she go over there for any other reason than to cause trouble or stir up controversy or drama? I mean, especially when considering the fact that she put a picture of bro's house on her story doxing him. Clearly, this is an act of revenge. You know, you can't convince me otherwise. This behavior is just very, very dangerous. You know, think about all the celebrities in the past couple years that have, you know, been hurt, injured, or God forbid, passed away as a result of doxing so jack films obviously has quite a big audience you know he's got a big platform and so he's he's pretty fairly famous on youtube right with that in mind you know you can't just be revealing the location of these people who have you know hundreds of thousands if not millions of fans or you know if you want to spin it this way too, enemies right so this is very very dangerous we've all seen how this type of thing can end up and people that are in defense of sniper wolf you know these basement dwelling losers if you will you know the ass queens of her comment section what if they decide that jack's films has pissed off their queen you know hurt their queen and they want to go and take matters into their own hands well now they have bro's address they know what his house looks like they know the general location that's just very very dangerous something really bad could happen to this guy as a result of her negligent behavior and quite frankly, petty behavior too. I mean, who the fuck would do something like this? If the roles were reversed, she sure as hell wouldn't like her private residence being revealed to people. But, you know, because he criticized a couple of your videos, you know, clearly it's okay, right? And I wanna talk about this idea of criticizing the video. So commentary YouTubers like myself, we make content like this all the time. You know, content that's particularly critical. And with fair use, very simply, you know, you put content on the internet, we're able to critique it. You can't deem this as harassment because when you post it to the internet, fair use comes into play and people can expound upon it quite literally legally. So it's written in the law that YouTubers like myself, you know, people like Jack Films, they're allowed to do this legally. So this is not harassment. Not only that, but like, come on, bitch, you can't be a content creator and not expect hate to come your way when you post something to the internet. I mean, think about it like this, man. Everybody has haters. I could quite literally upload a video tomorrow where I, I don't know, cure cancer or solve world hunger, and there's still gonna be motherfuckers coming up in my comment section clowning me and hating on me. Like, Sniper Wolf is 
pretty petty for this first and foremost, but also very, very soft as well. Like, she's been around for a while too, so she should just know better. So look, I get it, you know, we all do stupid shit when we're mad, when there's drama, when there's controversy, we all say and do stupid shit we don't necessarily mean. I get that, and so like this kind of response, you know, though it is dangerous, it is kind of understandable, but where I really lose Sniper Wolf is when she refuses to take accountability and straight up claims that she doesn't even know how to dox like are you fucking stupid she's acting like it's some sort of long-term educational pursuit like i gotta go to college to learn how to dox people like bitch you do not have to get a phd through a prestigious university to do something like this you are simply exposing people's personal information any idiot could do that you're living proof this has got to be one of the weakest arguments i've ever heard in my life like we ain't stupid Last point I want to go over before I close off the video, she also posted a response saying she just wanted to talk. Alright, let's, let's humor this idea for a second, even though you will quickly come to the realization that this rebuttal is riddled with holes, but let's say she did just want to talk. Then why did she feel it was necessary to post a picture of his house for all of her fans to see? You know, again, she has like, what, 34 million fans on YouTube alone, that doesn't even account for all her other socials. So I just don't see what someone would have to gain from this other than doxing the person. Because again, this person, you know, John, has been pretty critical of her, might I add, too. Any sort of counter argument to that just does not add up. Like, what would this at all contribute to a personal conversation between the two of them? But then she has the gumption, you know, the gall to conclude her response with, should I get a restraining order? Because he made a few videos that are critical towards her videos, which again are readily available for the entire world to view and comment on. Like, speaking of comments, I seriously don't see how making any sort of critical video response is any different than say leaving a negative comment on her video but yeah pretty crazy man if anyone should be getting a restraining order it's this guy and his poor wife who's been caught up in the middle of some stupid ass drama just because she's married to him john is not in the wrong i feel bad for both him and his wife you should never ever have your personal residence doxxed to people that could potentially cause you and your family harm and I just really, really think Sniper Wolf should be ashamed of this. And it's just another instant, uh, another instance, excuse me, of just how childish she really is. But guys, that's basically it for the video. I appreciate y'all watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like rating, subscribe to the channel for more commentaries just like this. Leave a comment down below. I would love to hear what y'all have to say about this. And until next time, guys, this is Runter, and we'll catch you on the next one.